Well, this is it guys. Today is a big day. I am just about to check in at Air Canada for my flight to Jakarta, Indonesia. I am finally making my Southeast Asia trip a reality. Hopefully I don't have any issues with my documentation. Bit of a weird situation with that. I'll let you guys know in a minute what happens, but I am so excited. This is what we're working with luggage wise. I've got my big turtle bag, though, as I mentioned in my packing video, unfortunately, these two don't attach anymore. So I've strapped it on as best I could. Then I've got all of my gear in my black bag. I got my little purse and here's all my documents. So wish me luck, guys. Mm -hmm. Amazing news, everything went well. But yes, all my documents were accepted, which I'm so grateful for. Because as far as entry requirements into Indonesia, you do basically need to be fully vaccinated to enter unless you want to quarantine for five days, then you would also need to do a PCR test. But the main thing, the main thing that was stressing me out is they have this app called Penduli or something like that and it's kind of similar to what they had when I visited Thailand uh, two years ago where you basically have to like check in everywhere you are, show your vaccination status. So I uploaded all my information over a month ago, literally like on the day last month that I'm leaving and it still hasn't been approved. Like it just shows waiting for approval even though I was told that it should be accepted or denied within five days. So I was freaking out, like I thought something was wrong. I thought that I absolutely need this verification before I can get on the flight. But after messaging the Indonesian consulate here in Canada, they said, you know, they probably just have a crazy backlog. Just bring your, you know, paperwork. It's no big deal. But thankfully she didn't really even look at anything beyond that I had the app installed so we are all good to go now i've got an hour and a half before my flight leaves so i do have lounge benefits from my credit Attention. card do not cross. Attention. Ne pas i have lounge benefits through my credit card so i'm going to go grab some breakfast in a lounge and then we will be off to vancouver Alright guys, I have arrived at the International Aspire Lounge. I actually have never been here before, but it seems pretty nice. guys I just arrived in Vancouver and I actually don't have that long of a connection here uh, literally just an hour and a half before my flight starts boarding to Tokyo which makes me happy and sad at the same time because as you guys may know 
Japan is like my favorite place in the whole world and right now they are closed to tourism so I'm getting just a little you know stop in the airport uh, before I'm off to Jakarta so I'm gonna try and find my gate as quickly as possible. little sad guys I wish I had more time here in Vancouver Airport because the international portion of this airport is amazing I haven't been here since I think the last time I flew to Tokyo and I forgot how amazing it is and how many things there are to see and do so unfortunately this time around I think it is best that I stay close to my gate since we are boarding in about 40 minutes but if you ever have a connection through the international part of Vancouver it's nice but in the meantime I did want to tell you guys about a product that I have been loving they are also the sponsor of today's video which is Soundcore I've told you guys how sensitive I am to outside noise especially when I'm on a plane and traveling so I was especially happy to receive the brand new Space Q45 headphones from Soundcore that give you the ultimate noise cancelling experience paired with a super long battery life. They are the perfect headphones to take with you on a long haul flight because they give you up to 50 hours of playtime in noise cancelling mode. They are also the first ever headphones to use a double layer diaphragm to provide sound in the highest possible quality. It's easy to tell that the headphones are made from premium materials. They are super comfortable and perfect for traveling. I can't say enough good things about these earphones and they literally make you feel like you're in your own little bubble for a while. I can actually fall asleep a lot better on the plane when I have these on. So very excited that I got to partner with Soundcore for this trip. Now, if you guys are interested in picking up a pair for yourself, I'm gonna have the official Soundcore website linked down below. These are the Q45 Space earphones, highly recommend. surreal right now guys I am in Tokyo my favorite city in the whole world and of course I can't stop here I've only got a two and a half hour layover but it's crazy because just the beginning part of getting into the airport here really reminds me of like the procedures I had to do in 2021 in Thailand where I can tell like security and all the rules are you know super strict here they're really segregating you know where everybody goes and you know all the specific rules for each group but overall as long as you're vaccinated i think you can transfer through tokyo no problem you don't need like a pcr test obviously unfortunately i didn't sleep on the plane so i am quite tired because it's like 2 a.m in canada right now but just being in tokyo has really energized me so i am gonna enjoy what little time i do have here
couldn't help myself. I did a little haul of things that actually I will need and use, but I got some fun stuff as well. So let's start with the food. Let's start with the fun part. I love these macadamia nut chocolates. You'll see them in all the like convenience stores and stuff in Tokyo, and I haven't had them in a really long time, so I got that. And then because I am kind of getting exhausted. I probably shouldn't have gotten this, but you know, YOLO. I got some black uh, Talese coffee. I got nothing too crazy. I got some wet wipes because I couldn't seem to find any in Canada. So I just picked those up. And then I got a little cleanser. Um, I do have like my regular cleanser that I like to use from Bioderma, but I like just having a little mini one in case I'm going on a shorter trip and don't want to take the large amount. And then I also had to let go of my nail polish remover at home because it because kind of was leaking. So I got a little one from Shiseido. And then last but not least, I got a really cute lip balm. So that is my little Japan haul and it just makes me miss this place even more so like i already said i hope that this spring japan will finally be open to general tourism and i can show you guys on my youtube channel this amazing country guys after a very very long trip here i'm finally in indonesia so exciting we actually got in slightly earlier than expected it's about 11 30 p.m right now and i am wondering like how immigration and all that kind of stuff is gonna go because there's a whole bunch of things that they have to check and then i also have to get a paid visa on arrival because it's only that kind that can be extended if you get the free one you're not able to stay any longer than 30 days so i already have an outbound ticket to my next destination basically two months from now so i need to get the paid one and then as always i need to make sure i get the proper kind of taxi to take me to my hotel because it is later and even though i've heard that overall indonesia is safe they said the taxi scams are like you know one of the worst things that happens to tourists so i'm just gonna have to make sure i find the company called bluebird My baggage luckily came through, no issues guys. Got my visa on arrival. Now I wanna take out some cash and get to my hotel. Oh, 
what a day, guys. I don't even have the words. It is almost 2 a.m. <laughs> and I'm exhausted. <laughs> so it was like people said online that getting a taxi from Jakarta Airport as a tourist yeah, not the best experience to be honest. I guess I could have downloaded Grab since I did get a SIM card at the airport, which I am happy about. I know I was totally overcharged, but the whole cell phone situation too in Indonesia is maybe something I'll go over in other videos. But basically there's like a local price where you have to register your phone and pay taxes on your phone if you're bringing it from outside the country, which doesn't make sense if you're only here for a couple of months, or you pay the tourist rates and you get SIM cards that are only good for like 30 days and then you have to renew and it's a lot more than the local price. But whatever, I got like 32 gigabytes for about 35 Canadian dollars, so maybe like, I don't know, 27-ish American, 32 gigabytes unlimited talk and text, so it's not bad, it's just obviously you're being overcharged as a tourist. And speaking of being overcharged as a tourist when it comes to the taxi situation, I am glad I read all of these like trip advisor feeds where people were saying do not go with the guys that you know are trying to get your attention right as you come out of the baggage claim. There are so many, you know, obviously shady people if I'm being honest of like really peddling you to like get a taxi and saying yes this is the official place when I've read so many times that it's not. At best you will get grossly overcharged and at worst you could be in a dangerous you know situation um you know and get robbed because these are not official sort of taxis. So if you want to get the local price you are supposed to just go to the Bluebird stand and you know I guess get a ticket and then it's going to be a metered taxi um, and then you also have to pay the tolls. So I got here safely. I really like my hotel room. I am staying in the Ibis Styles Tana Abong for like 30, 35 US dollars a night. Somewhere around there breakfast included. Let me actually give you guys a quick tour. Obviously I can't show you the view right now but I like the fun pop art that they have in here, big mirror, and then right away you kind of go into this open washroom area. I have a shower and a toilet and yeah, small but really nice. So that is it my friends. I am going to take a shower and go straight to bed, hopefully actually get a good sleep so I get on Jakarta time and tomorrow's a new day. So I hope you enjoyed this video and taking this journey with me to Southeast Asia. I'm very excited for the adventures to come so I hope you guys will join me. I'm sending you lots of love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.